Greetings everybody, this is Infinite, and I'm bringing you another game. Now that the beta is down, as I'm sure you all know, this is going to be White Raw versus Goody. And this is from the ESL Go4 SC2 Cup number 23. Uh, this game was played on July 17th, 2010. I believe this is the quarterfinals of that tournament. Like I said, as I'm sure you all know, sadly the beta is down, but with only a week to go till release, hopefully we can take a little of that, little of that sadness away with some, uh, with some casts, with some replays, of some good games. And the map, as you can see, is Lost Temple. The players, goody, white raw. Given these spawning locations, um, I don't really expect to see any two-gate rush pressure like you would see if this probe had scouted Goody over here. As you can see, I am pretty cool. Please don't steal any of my stuff. Um, given these spawning locations, like I said, I don't really expect to see any pressure, any kind of rush, given that this rush distance is pretty large here. Um, we might see some fast expand, Terran's probably going to go into a mech style build, just given that he can defend this long distance from any sort of early pressure from White Raw and tech up to mech pretty easily. Let me turn on this you know, production tab just so we can all see what's going on. White Raw playing pretty standard so far, getting that assimilator on about, you know, finishes about 16, going one gate. Probably going to go straight into one zealot into cybernetics core to get those warp gates setting up a pylon here this is a good idea just so you can see anything coming and this pylon placement especially is good given that this grass blocks the view if you're on this side or this side so this pylon is going to be able to spot here and here so really good placement from white raw um goody going for a little wall off he does trap that probe in there. This marine is gonna go hunting. Probe's doing a little zapping. A little bit of a little bit of miss micro, taking that five damage, but not really a big deal for Goody so far. There is the cybernetics core, just as I thought. Um, Goody going for a fast marauder with that concussive shell immediately. Not really sure how much I like that, given that concussive shell only takes. 60 seconds to build as you can see one of the observers left not really a big deal um, personally I usually like that stim pack first but given that he is going to go for this really early pressure with just one marauder one marine and an scv and i guess two scvs um, that concussive shell is going to be actually pretty good and he's going to catch a stalker out of position that concussive shell is finished and this stalker is just going to have no way getting away and white rod knows this just does that damage to it and the shattered husk of that stalker just sadly sadly falling into place there white rod is getting another zealot he is getting warp gates and he does pull some probes off the line here to deal with this pressure probes and scvs duking it out and the stalker is on the high ground but these scvs are going to be able to spot it and that stalker goes down and just like a spider, those legs just kind of fall there, sadly. He is losing probes here. He does have one zealot out. It looks like White Rod's in some kind of trouble here. He's going to lose a lot of probes if he doesn't deal with this effectively. And he now has three Marauders to deal with. Probes coming off the line. He does lose two more probes in addition to those four that went down earlier. He's losing a ton of mining time and a ton of probes. And Goody doing a great job with this harass here. And that concussive shell looks to be like it was the right choice. White Rod does now have four gates going into warp gates. And this zealot, poor zealot, just caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. Does get smashed. More probes going down. Two more probes going down. Stalkers, three stalkers to deal with this. White Rod should be able to hold this off. Another probe goes down. Another probe. And yet another probe. And these stalkers are going to be able to deal with these marauders. It looks like this 
Marauder over here just sniping that Stalker off. And Wyra is just losing a ton of units. Warping and Zealot's not the best choice. I would have liked to see some more Stalkers come out of that, given that he does have the gas for it. And they only cost 25 more minerals than the Zealot. But these Marauders finally going to go down. Goody just doing a great job of harassing the hell out of Wyra. And I'm just going to switch to the Units Loss tab while this Marauder gets taken out. Um, White Raw losing 24 units, 2,000 worth of resources versus Goody losing only 900. And that Marauder does get chopped in half. Um, let's take a look at the Harvester count. That Harass has put Goody up a ton. He is almost 10 Harvesters ahead of White Raw, even with the Chrono Boost. And he does delay long enough with that initial Marauder push to get a Command Center going. He does have a tank out, and it looks like Siege is already done, so he's going to be able to hold off anything that White Raw has. Goody throwing down a starport, he does have a medevac already. Probably going to see some kind of early drop with these Marauders. He's going to throw down a bunker, he's going to siege this tank. Um, I don't really like this tank placement. I would really prefer it to be here, as you can see by this white ring of arrows. It only hits this ramp. So had he placed it here, he would be able to, you know, catch anything over here. But not really going to be a problem because White Rot isn't actually pressuring uh, Goody at this time anyway. Not that he has the units to do it, but he is throwing down a expansion at his natural to try to close his harvester gap a little bit. Um, and for any of you who are familiar with these players, Goody did play Protoss in Phase 1. Looks like he has gotten quite good with the Terran race, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, especially with that early pressure. And it looks like Wyra is just not being able to deal with that early pressure very well. He is getting that zealot leg speed, that charge, excuse me, a little bit of brood war terminology there. He is chrono boosting that out. Zealots are quite good at dealing with marauders only once they have that charge though. Um, as you as you saw earlier, they're not quite not quite effective against Marauders with Concussive Shell. Without the charge, they just get slowed to death. And here we can see Goody. He is going to take four Marauders in this medevac. He's going to take the long way around. Let's take a look at the uh, rally points here. This is rallied all the way over here and back up here. Not sure where that rally er <coughs> arrow went, but that is where it is going. And Wyra is still only on one gas. He does have a ton of gas still, though. Uh, I would actually like to see these probes come out of gas and concentrate on minerals. But it looks like he does have the expansion up. They both have the expansion up. He is closing that harvest gap a little bit. Six behind as opposed to the ten. But the income with this mule is just too good. And here comes the drop. He drops these marauders out of sight so that White Rod does not see them. He does have stim. And it looks like he is going to be able to do a ton of damage here. Take a look at this Harvester count. Um, it is on a little bit of delay, so you're not going to see it immediately. But look at this, 25 to 37. And these probes just don't know where to go. And he does load those back into the medevac. They are all healed. Charge is now done on those zealots. And he is just going to pull his medevac back. These marauders all healed, like I said, by that medevac, just while they were killing off probes. And now White Rot, even with this expansion and double chrono boost on these next next eye um, he is still more than 10 harvesters behind he does have quite a quite a uh, force of zealots here he has nine zealots and a stalker he does have these three zealots over here but goody he has three tanks he's hellions um, not a huge force but he's just harassing white rod at death he's throwing down one, two, three. He's going to have four factories and an armory. The armory does indicate that he's going to go for Thors. Thors are quite good against Stalkers. Um, unless those Stalkers have Blink and Mass, and they can just Blink and Snipe that Thor. But he does not have Blink. He does not have too many Stalkers. He is getting Psy Storm, though. Um, I don't see any, any High Templar. He has two that he just warped in, I believe. I cannot. There is one. I cannot find the other. There it is. So it does have two. Psystorm is now done. He does not have that Kaderan am amulet, though. And 
Look at this, I seem to have missed this. Goody is setting up on this ridge up here. Super annoying tactic, but super effective. He's got one tank, he's got two turrets, so there is no possibility of a counter drop by White Rock. And he's gonna go in the back with these Marauders as well, doing a double front to harass. And Goody is just doing amazing, amazing harass on White Rock. These Marauders are gonna be taken out.